You're watching eParenting.co.uk. My name is Angela Griffin and I have got some TV dinner recipes just for you and your family. Hi, I'm Angela Griffin. We are all as guilty as each other when it comes to eating a cheeky dinner in front of the telly. I know it's not what your mother taught you, but sometimes it's allowed. I'm here today to let you in on a secret. TV dinners don't need to be unhealthy or from a packet. You can make them yourselves in no time at all. That's why I have teamed up with Red Tractor Beef and Lamb to get the nation to ditch the same old takeaways and boring meals and make TV dinners more exciting. So this dish is perfect TV food. It's called Red Pesto Steak with pasta and peppers and it's really delicious and it's easy to eat in front of the TV. Okay, for this recipe, you are going to need 450 grams or one pound of lean rump, sirloin or ribeye steaks. I'm gonna be using a sirloin today. 375 grams or 12 ounces of pasta shapes, twists, penne, whatever you like. A tablespoon of sunflower oil, one small red onion uh, and one red pepper. Then you need 150 grams or five ounces of red pesto sauce. You can get chilled or from a jar. 150 milliliters or a quarter pint of good hot vegetable stock. Eight tablespoons of half fat creme fraiche, some salt and some freshly milled black pepper. And finally, two tablespoons of freshly chopped flat leaf parsley to garnish. Make it all look nice at the end. All right, let's get going. With the pasta, it's really simple. Cook as directed on the side of the packet while you prepare the rest of the dish. And then you drain and set to one side once it's cooked. So while the pasta's bubbling away, you want to prepare your onion and your pepper. So you peel and finely chop your onion and then also slice your pepper, making sure you remove all the seeds. Cut it into nice long strips. And then the next thing you need to do, you want to heat the oil in a large non-stick frying pan, get it really hot. Now, it depends on how you like it done. As a guide, if you have a two centimetre, three quarter inch thick steak, you want to cook it for about two and a half minutes on each side for rare, four minutes on each side for medium, and about six minutes each side for well done. I like my steak cooked medium, but it really is up to you. When you put your steak in, make sure you put it away from you so you don't get fat in your face. Perfect. So that's about the right amount of time, so I'm just going to set that aside and let it rest. It's really important to let meat rest, because it lets it relax, which makes it easier to cut and makes it so much more tender to eat. So we're going to put it on there, and then we're going to get a bit of foil, place it over the top, and then that keeps the heat in as well. Now, great meals start with good quality ingredients. So when you're shopping for beef, always look out for a quality mark, like this Red Tractor Beef logo. The logo shows that the meat's farm assured, so you know that it's been responsibly produced. Okay, leave all your delicious meat juices in your frying pan, and then you're gonna add your chopped onion, okay? Cook the onions until they're soft, but not coloured. Okay. Then add your peppers. You're only going to stir them occasionally. And if you like, you can add your own family friendly veggies in here too, so whatever you like at home. When they've softened, you're going to stir in the pesto, the stock and the creme fraiche. Add them all in. Give it a bit of a stir and your creme fraiche. Okay. And give that a bit of a stir. You want to check your pasta as well. Make sure that that's not overcooking. You don't want it all soft. I'm going to try and make it nice and al dente so it's got a little tiny bit of a bite to it. So we'll leave that for a little minute and then we're going to drain the pasta. Oh, beautiful. And then cook it for a further two to three minutes. Just let it simmer. So we'll slice up the, uh, the steak here, making sure that we turn over the board so that we're not cutting the um, steak on the same side as the vegetables. So we'll cut that up. We'll cut it into long strips and then cut it into shorter bits. We're going to add the steak and any of the meat juices. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to toss it very gently and just turn it around so that it's all mixed in. And then we're going to season with some salt and pepper. So we're going to serve up now. So get a plate. Oh, gorgeous. So you can make sure you've got an equal amount of steak and an equal amount of your peppers in there. And then we're going to get our parsley for the final touches and garnish our dish. And you could serve it with a crunchy salad or some other vegetables, whatever you fancy. So there we have it. Really simple and really quick. There really is no excuse for not eating fresh food when settling down in front of the telly. For a little more inspiration, don't forget to check out delicious recipes like lamb rogan josh and beef shallot and red pepper casserole at www.simplybeefandlamb.co.uk forward slash hdtv and let us help you prepare some delicious TV dinners without that guilty feeling.